guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Daradi here. My name is Oluwa Darasimi, and I want to say Happy New Year to you, to my 1KK plus subscribers. You guys are welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. I'm so glad to have you on board. Welcome to a beautiful channel with a beautiful girl, you know. So, yes, before I continue, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be back. That short break that is going, that thing that is ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. just if you have not subscribed, just subscribe. I'm coming. Thanks. So, last year I learned some things and it helped me throughout the rest of the year and I'm bringing those things into the new year and I just thought to share with you guys um, okay I think you'll have seen the title already I've not decided on the title at this point but I'll be talking about how to maintain your joy in the year 2023 I think that's what I'll make the title anyways how to maintain your joy in the year 2023 so I want us to know that in this year the word joy, let me let me start by saying joy, as we all know, most of us, is a fruit of the Spirit. Um, the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 says, For the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness. <laughs> and against this there is no law. I think there is patience, there is long-suffering. Yes, and against this there is no law. And we also know that joy is i want us to know that joy is an important vital sign as a christian as a believer as a child of god once we see you as a child of god we have to see that you carry the joy of christ so if you want to be joyful in 2023 we have to regardless of our visions for 2023 regardless of the goals we have written that we want to achieve in this year regardless of anything that we're looking forward to, to doing this year our joy has to be based on something that does not change on something that is eternal and that is why i'm letting us know at this point that our joy is based on christ the joy of a believer is christ the joy of a believer is because jesus christ died for us our joy is as a result of our gift at salvation our joy is eternal when i remember that jesus christ died died for me i have a place in heaven my my my, my heaven is not heaven at last but heaven at salvation i'm i'm happy i want to do my agaya agalio on my chair but don't worry i'm all happy i'm rejoicing because i know that these are the things that matter most. So regardless of whatever it is, regardless of that also that we're saying, ah, this year I'm hustling, this year I'm doing this, this year I'm doing that. I want us to know that God wants to journey with us in this year. God wants, God is, God is more, is also very interested in our achievements and our successes, even more than we think. God is very much interested. So do not put God in one side and say, ah, God, I'm sorry, but you cannot understand. Let me just settle this one first. God is so much intentional. One with God is a majority. So your union with God, your union, when you, when you do things with the mind that, ah, God, I can't do this without you, then we would have a joyful 2023. Now, there are some things that are joy killers, some things that would want to stress us so much and want to take away our joy. My own joy cannot be taken away. Some things like number one is competition slash comparison. If you live a life and you always, you, you achieve something, but you don't seem satisfied. You're always comparing yourself with somebody, with another person, another person, another person. At the end of the day, you would not be joyful. You will not be joyful because a lot of things that you think you have not gotten, so people have not even gotten. So you have to see yourself the way Christ sees you. And how does Christ see you? Christ sees you as the righteousness of God. Christ sees you as a beloved one. Christ sees you as one seated with him in heavenly places. Do you understand? So all these things are the things that matter most. And these are the things that our joy should be based on. Another joy killer, which is the last joy killer, there are a lot of joy killers that I'll be talking about is anxiety. Now, the Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, through prayers and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request known unto God. If I'm anxious about the sin, I think I've made these examples in one of my videos before. If I say I'm trusting God, it's just as if 
someone someone is driving a car and says um i carry i'm carrying a lot of load on my head and somebody is driving i say uh uh daddy what's up now come inside my car and i'm like ah oh, thank you very much my g my g and he opens the door i sit in the car and i still put the load on my head and i say ah there are kilo shell and i say I'm okay like this. Please let me just live my life. I, I like it like this. This law should be on my head. That is like somebody that does not trust God. You're, if you want God to be the, the driver of your life, if you want God to lead you, if you want God to take you to where, where he is taking you to in 2023, then you have to let go and let him have his way. You have to not be anxious. Anxiety anxiety would come. The devil, that is the plan of the devil. The devil wants us to be anxious at all times. It brings in thoughts so many fears and a lot of things but god has said that we should let our request that thing that we are anxious about we should let it be known unto him with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving so how do you maintain your joy in 2023 focus on the eternal joy which is our joy at salvation <laughs> if you are looking up to somebody to give you joy in this year i'm sorry if you're in a relationship and you're looking up to, to your partner or to your friend to bring you joy those people can also feel you so what happens you are sad for the rest of your life or for the rest of the year no we are looking up to jesus the author and the finisher of our faith so we we are picking this and we are stamping and staying with this even in our journey in 2023 regardless of what is going on in nigeria regardless of what is going on where i am in my school in my in my academics in anything anywhere i find myself my joy is constant this this afternoon i was trying to set up my camera and a lot of things were happening i just kept saying my joy is in the holy ghost my joy is constant this joy i have nothing is going to stop my joy and don't worry, you're going to be seeing me smiling in lots in this year 2023 because no matter what the devil tries, I know the devil does not want us to be happy, so I'm going to be happy so that it will be sad and it will be angry. So I want you to make this resolution with me that our joy is in Christ. So if you are here and you're listening to me and you have not surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, this is so simple. This is a very simple step. Just believe that Christ died for you. Your sins are forgiven. Just say, Jesus, I come to you today. Have mercy on me. Forgive me of my sins and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, because I know that heaven is mine. Thank you because I know that you died for me and my sins are forgiven. I surrender myself to you. Thank you, Father, because I know you have answered. So simple. All you have to do, just join a church, join a, mis a ministry and help your spiritual life grow. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope to see you in my other videos. Love you. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>